Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want us to talk about how to do fun things alone. First of all, why is it so scary to have fun alone? Obviously, we live in a superficial society and we are constantly under the threat of being judged. Or so we believe that we are under the threat of being judged because we are judging ourselves most of the time and we expect everybody else to judge us on our appearance and, you know, our exterior conditions and there's often the fear that if you're alone if you're out in public doing something by yourself there's sometimes that fear that people must think that you're a loser and that's obviously not true because if you're somebody that wants to have fun alone at one point in time you've seen another person by themselves in public and you didn't think that they were a loser you probably thought i wish i was that brave to do that thing that i want to do by myself and so I feel like the first thing you have to work on to have fun alone is your own mentality. One of the big things that will help you to have fun alone is understanding the difference between being alone and being lonely. You can be lonely and be surrounded by people or you can be by yourself, you can be alone and not feel lonely at all. I feel like we often give other people so much power about what they think about us that we never stop to think about what do we think of ourselves I personally would rather be alone than feel lonely surrounded with people that I don't have things in common and the reason why I started to have fun alone is because I started to get tired of dragging people to things that I wanted to do or worse, having people say they wanted to do those things and then flaking at the last minute or just even worse just not being interested you can tell when somebody's like just not interested in what's going on and to be honest i just got tired of missing out on the things that i wanted to do and i thought were fun because i didn't have somebody to go with me or i didn't feel like it would be like an ideal situation like like i said before like is somebody gonna flake or is somebody just not gonna have a good time and then i'm not having a good time so i started to do things alone little by little and along the same line of changing your mentality, something that really helped me calm down <laughs> when I'll be like nervous or want to try something new on my own is that most people are not paying attention to you, most people are paying attention to themselves. You know how harshly you judge yourself at all given times, especially if you're somebody like me that has like anxiety or if you struggle with mental health in any way. You know how self-conscious you are at all times. Most people are feeling that way too. Most people are not paying attention to you. Most people are concerned about how other people are thinking about them. And if you think about it, if that's the case, most of the time that you're stopping yourself from doing something you actually want to do, you're doing it really for no reason because most people will not be thinking about you. And the funny thing is that when it comes to having fun alone, so many of us are scared of the little things. We're afraid of going to the movies. We're afraid to sit down at a restaurant and eat a meal by ourselves. So many of us are so invested in looking perfect all the time or being the best from the first moment that you try something new or being so afraid that you won't be your best, that you don't try at all. Now, a year later, going back to martial arts because you guys know I took a break from martial arts last year because everything that was going on and i have all the fears of a beginner again i'm out of shape i feel like people are gonna kick my ass even though i know how to do things my reflexes aren't always there because i haven't been doing it all the time like i was before and there's literally no way to get over that fear except to just do it <laughs> But like I said, something that helps me is to know that I want to do those things. I want to do those things more than I'm afraid of being judged. Even if that judgment is me. <laughs> 
And I feel like as I grow older, I feel more and more fear about life. And so the more reason to do those little things that make me feel afraid. And all of that is just hindering your own experience as a human being. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to look like a fool sometimes. It's okay to fall on your face. And of course, that doesn't mean you run and do foolish things. There's a difference between being smart about your choices and allowing other people to dictate the things that you do or don't do with your life. Of course, it's a lot harder than that. Otherwise, we wouldn't all be struggling with this idea of doing things on our own. People are so afraid to make a fool of themselves that they can't stand to see someone else potentially make a fool of themselves either. They give you advice based on their own fears. I personally am not afraid to make a fool of myself. My fear is that I won't. My fear is that I'll be so cautious and I'll live a life so safe that I will never accomplish any of my dreams. That's my biggest fear. But even something so simple as watching a movie or going to dinner by yourself, there's still so much fear surrounding that and i want to read to you a little one of my oracle cards the fool is a great rebel able to thwart convention and tell the truth without restraint it cares not for the right way to do things it cares not for what the mind says is real and not real it lives according to an inner wisdom that cannot be dictated or controlled by anything. Don't try to be appropriate, don't try to be socially acceptable and worry about what others may think about what you're doing. Just be. The secret fool in you urges your mind to let itself be pulled into joy by your heartstrings and not into fear and doubt by the controlling machines of mass media. It's time for you to let life happen in a completely unreserved and unscripted way. The more bizarre, left of field, unexpected and apparently ridiculous, the better. That is actually good. It is a sign that you are breaking with your own self-imposed conventions. It is time to move beyond them now because a bigger life adventure is calling you. And it's so weird to me that for whatever reason, sometimes it's way easier to do big things like travel. I felt like there was so much reward on the other side of that like it was almost easier to do that and nobody's gonna judge you for traveling nobody's gonna judge you for moving to a new place it's cool right i think honestly it's all about baby steps and one way to feel better or like alleviate your anxiety about doing things alone maybe give yourself a way to look like you're occupied or feel like you're occupied like if you go have lunch by yourself maybe you can take a book and look like you're reading or actually read <laughs> or take your laptop and do your work. Um, the weird thing is, like I said, the first thing I did alone was travel, move, but we feel for whatever reason that someone might judge us if they see us eating alone. The last thing that I did alone before COVID was go to a concert. That was my other thing that I felt very scared to do alone, but I went to see my one of my favorite bands, Kinky. They're a band that plays Spanish music and every time they come to LA, I feel like I have to drag somebody that doesn't know them, hope that they're gonna like them, or hope that they're just gonna enjoy the atmosphere. And I was just like, you know what? Um, I don't have to drag anybody. I can just go by myself and like actually have fun. I feel like it's very important that we learn how to have fun alone. Like if you're somebody that wants to do good things in the world unfortunately that's not the normal right now it's becoming more and more a mainstream idea for your life to contribute positively to the world of course but it's not yet cemented at every level of society and so what you'll end up is feeling like you might have to do things alone even if you don't want to be like the next Martin Luther King if I'm being honest, this is something that I feel a lot with my YouTube channel especially last year last year, you guys know, is the first year I started making videos every week and as I was trying to figure out like what I want my channel to be about or how I want to present the things I want to discuss or my art I was trying to find other channels like me and I felt like I couldn't most art channels don't discuss issues like of social justice or politics 
and vice versa most channels that are dedicated to discussing things about social justice or politics they are not about art even in that i feel like i'm doing it alone and again i just feel like if you're somebody that wants to be like an activist or just for your life to have a positive impact on the world you might reach that point that you feel like you're doing it alone or or you just don't see somebody whose footsteps you can recreate just yet and that's why i feel like it's so important to learn how to have fun alone and just follow your heart even if you don't have that that buddy that you can take with you because what if the thing you want to do most in life what if your big dreams you don't share them with other people or what if you just haven't met them yet if you start training yourself with things that are more seemingly insignificant like going to the movies or having dinner by yourself then you start to train yourself about how to just trust yourself and overcome those feelings of fear and right now that we've gone through the worst of covid and the pandemic it's kind of like a perfect time for you to start playing with having fun alone if that's something that you've been too afraid or anxious to do because you kind of have a built-in excuse like you shouldn't be hanging out with large groups of people right now <laughs> so if you're sitting at the park by yourself it makes total sense right um like if that helps you feel better but anyways thank you so much for watching if you still are subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination let me know in the comments what is your favorite thing that you do that fun alone or like have you tried to do something on your own for me the my favorite thing to do alone is go to the beach i really like to just go and look at the ocean like i don't always want to go and tan i don't always want to like put on a swimsuit kind of thing sometimes i just want to go to look at the ocean feel the sand under my feet and like sometimes i just go and get a coffee and just sit on the sand but anyways, I hope that you're doing okay. Thankfully, I feel like we're past the worst of the pandemic. But I understand that people are still suffering in terms of their mental health. A lot of people are still suffering, including myself. I'm not always 100% and so I just hope that you're doing okay and that you're finding ways to cope with everything that's going on in the world. Thank you so much if you're here. And yeah, I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.